Lee, time to go. Big homie? Hey. Damn, man, 15 years in this piece? That's all you got for me? It's good to see you, man. Now, we're just gonna sit here and reminisce, or are you gonna take me to see Troy? Oh. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right, you got it, buddy. Fuck, man, watching a bunch of dancing fags ain't my thing. No? None of you, one of them's your own kid? Who are you talking about? Right there. Your little boy's a big girl now. You're not bullshit. That's Troy? Oh, wow, well, man. Yeah, I probably should have warned you, but I would have missed that look on your face right now. This time already. The same what I thought it'd be. Hey man, I gotta head out. But if you want to try and talk to him, you gotta go through the back door. That's where they come in and out, man. Oh snap! The back door. The back door. If I get a lot of use in this motherfucker. You know Listen. <laughs> You're having way too much fun at my expense right now. Hey, man. Chill. All right, I'll just catch you later. Sorry about your kid, though. Troy. I haven't heard that name for years. What, what do you want? Um, just want to talk. You're uh, not what I expected. Not what you expected? Who are you? You really don't know? Should I? Uh, I guess not. It's been a long time. I'm your father. My father's in prison. I got out. When? Today. I came straight here to see you. You came straight here. Didn't even stop to rob a liquor store along the way. I'm genuinely touched. OK, you found me. I forget you did. Troy, There is on. no Troy. My name is Dominic. Give me a shot. I'm just asking. Oh my God, 15 years in prison? You must be dying for some comfort food. Huh? Tonight you dine with us. Get in, honey. Have you totally lost your mind? No way, Eamon, this is not happening. What is so happening? That's your dad out there. I don't have a dad. Don't you dare not to me, dummy. That man is your father, and he's getting in this car, and we're going to treat him to a good meal. Why? Because you have a dad. He may not have been there for you. But he's here now. He's here. Haven't you wasted enough time? Tick tock, honey.
she's fine. Living in a huge house with her plastic surgeon husband. Dumb. I mean, Troy hasn't spoken to her in years. Ever since she caught him in one of her designer dresses. Hey, man. What? She couldn't handle it. Probably because he looked so much better in it than she did. Oh, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. So where are you staying? Um, at a halfway house. My uh, appeal set it up. Out of the question. You're staying with us. Can I talk to you for a minute? Of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be right back. I love you. I want you to have what I can never have. And I'd hate myself if I let you blow this chance. Maybe you two ladies should conversate in the little girl's room. Well, as much as I'd enjoy that, there's some Cro-Magnon man in there looking for his asshole. Guess he's too stupid to realize he left it out here. You calling me a Cro-Magnon? Oh, do you prefer troglodyte or how about missing link? I am to please, honey. Hey, thanks again for dinner. Anytime. Oh, shit, I forgot my duffel. I'll be right back. No, uh, what were you saying to me again? Which part did you not understand? The Cro-Magnon part or the asshole part? <laughs> All right, come on! I've got the little one, dummy. Rain down, wash the junk from my hair, make my life clean, put my body to bed without the smell of gasoline. from my head.